What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome to another Resplendent review. Today I'll be taking a look at Resplendent Soren and gonna be going over the builds that he can run on him and finally I'll have a special bonus segment at the end. So Resplendent Soren is a green infantry mage from Gen 1 and he has got Wind's Brand as his preferred weapon. So this is a really really basic weapon because it was one of the earliest weapons to get a weapon refine and it does have chill attack built in the primary effect and has got the Altom effect in its weapon refined part. So it's kind of underwhelming nowadays obviously as we just have much better weapons but back then when we had the cheerleader meta in the arena he was really useful as a merge project for free to play players because back then you had to get all of the kills with your bonus units. So you pretty much had to baby your bonus unit and that's where Soren did help with his support and back then chill attack was still a really good support option so a lot of people did build him up in that era but obviously afterwards it did change and we no longer had the cheerleader meta where you had to get the bonus kill with your bonus Sharina against like four searchers but back then free to play units and easily mergeable units like Soren, Marth and also Male Corrin were seen as a mergeable project options that he could invest in for the arena usage and Soren could run another chill skill in his slot B and provide the dual chill support but now we just have a lot better support units and also much much better green tome options that he can run over his preferred weapon and his stat spread is not really all that impressive he has got 35 35 offenses after the resplendent stats and he's a gen 1 unit so he can get 30 dragon flowers and even then he's gonna be facing competition from the other green mages present in the three star four star pool and also in the grail pool like tea time tail 2 he at least has as much speed as Rickon as you can see so it does help him and he's at least going to be having a bit more speed than some of the older 3 star 4 star units and Luthier is there as an option but Soren is pretty much going to be having the same offenses while having a bit extra resistance. Nino is also from gen 1 but she does have a bit more speed. The thing with Soren is that some of the points have gone into HP and defense which could have gone into resistance so that he could make better use of the ploy skills and that would give him an edge over a lot of the green mages that only really have as much resistance. Soren can still do that but like his resistance is not as high as you'd like to be if you're running a ploy skill. So if you're going to be building up Soren then you're going to be having two main options. There are not too many green tomes that he can easily have access to and we haven't really got the second arcane weapon for this weapon type yet. So tea time set plus is going to be from tea time Ferdinand giving you Kanta 1 and also the half null follow up and it also gives you plus 5 attack and speed but obviously arcane caliburnus is going to be the best weapon that you can give to him which does give you minus and special cooldown the guaranteed follow up attack and also special cooldown plus one per attack so it can help you trigger the specials easily and also has del attack resistance built up so if you have a spare rearmed sonia then you can definitely build up soren with arcane caliburnus and give him attack speed finish 4 and also special spiral 4 for the true damage and with the special charges of his weapon he can easily set up special spiral and actually trigger flare twice in a single round of combat if the enemy can counter attack so it can help you just get a lot of true damage and get the healing out of the special and also with the finish slotty skill attack speed oath is going to be the main slotty skill that he can run because he doesn't really need any kind of pled skill because of having the special charges in arcane caliburnus so it's something that you can have access to from divine codes and it's pretty easily available you can also run iceberg as a special if you don't really have flare because iceberg is going to be giving you a bit better damage output but flare does have the healing and you can also run him with remote sparrow and stack up the damage reduction with fleeting echo so if you want to have a bit more of a damage reduction build then this is going to be the one to run you can also run magical null follow up for the damage reduction shredding you're not going to be completely piercing through the damage reduction like special spiral 4 but still magical null follow up is a pretty good option that you can run on him and soren pretty much wants to stack up his offenses but if you only want to invest in his speed and you want to go the route of stacking up attack and resistance then that could also be an option by running double still water and by running a ploy skill so this obviously gives him a lot better resistance for making use of the ploy skill that he can get at the same time while getting arcane caliburnus and he can just debuff the enemy with the ploy skill and also get the exposure status on them for getting a bit more of a true damage 
And this is something that he can still use because guaranteed follow-up attack is built in the weapon. So if you want to stack up the resistance for the ploy usage, then this is going to be an option. But if you want to use this resistance for ploying and you don't really want to let go of the speed, then this is going to be a build that he can do in the future whenever speed resistance tempo 4 comes out. So speed resistance tempo 4 is going to be giving you the damage reduction shredding and also the tempo effect which is really good with the special charges of arcane caliburnus and also by having finished for skill which gives you healing and true damage so this is going to be the build which you can run and it is going to be the max investment build because you really need this kind of insane investment to make the full use out of his speed and resistance as of making this video so it does take a lot of resources but if you're a big soren fan then this is something you can run and you can debuff the enemy speed with the ploy skill and whenever we get another arcane green tome that can maybe be specialized for the fast units then it is also something he can make use of and i'll definitely be going over his build whenever i make that video on that arcane green tome but until then arcane caliburnus is pretty much going to be the best weapon that you can run on him and if i had to give him a bit more of a modern weapon that didn't have the refine effects from 2018 then this is what i would do i would pretty much make it so that he has got the spectrum chill skill built into this weapon so he can debuff the highest stats of the enemy for minus six and also inflict the discord status so discord status is going to be giving you even more debuffs on the enemies and it can be a bit more splashable and spread to the foes that are within two spaces of those foes and we have seen this before on yoon's remix and then with the in combat effects, I'm going to be giving him plus 4 to all of his stats, 40% damage reduction on foe's first attack, and the full tempo effect. So Brave Sorin does have the Null Guard, and I do think that giving him full tempo is going to be making him a bit more unique. And then for his weapon refine, I'm going to be giving him another round of plus 4 to all of these stats, and also upgrading the Altome effect to the Spectrum Unity effect. And we have seen free to play units like Ferdinand and Echidna, get the spectrum unity effect so i do think that having spectrum unity would be really good on him because he's going to be taking advantage of enemies debuffs on him while he penalizes the stats of the enemies with his spectrum shield skill and also punishes them for being near each other with the discord status and then finally he's able to heal up 50 percent of his max hp on the special triggers and that's why the full tempo effect is really good because you're going to be able to trigger the specials like Glimmer, Moonbow, Ruptured Sky and still get the healing just like you would get from Flare. And it's a bit better healing than Flare. There's already Brave Soren who's the superior Soren to make use of the assigned decoy status. But still, seeing as how he functions in Fire Emblem Engage as an emblem, I still tried to make this weapon have some of the things that he had before and also evolving some of the effects which he had and his weapon refined. So let me know what you think about the modernization of his preferred weapon and something like this. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and a comment. Also tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more free videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I wish YouTube sub boxes were about as amazing as all of the hell resplendence. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.